Hello, I'm Executive Chef Mark Weber from Mason Street Grill. Here we are with Marielle at North Star Bison Ranch. Uh, this month, straight to your plate, we are going to feature uh, fresh bison. So what can you tell us that makes uh, North Star Bison uh, a cut above the rest of uh, all the other bison that's out there? Well, one thing we do here that's uh, kind of pulls us above the rest at North Star Bison is uh, we strive very hard to achieve the highest quality product uh, 52 weeks of the year. Um, so we're able to provide our executive chefs a fresh cut of meat um, that comes in uh, literally right off the cutting table into a package, into a box. We harvest our animals uh, in a way that we're able to field harvest them. Uh, it keeps such a juicy, lean, uh, but flavorful, tender product for you to be able to serve. And uh, it's all a part of putting it all together to go straight to your plate, is kind of cutting out some of that middle ground so it is as fresh as possible and uh, keeping a product that regardless of the season that you're serving in that you have a product that you can put out that is going to be high quality that gives Mason Street the name that they have. Excellent. Well we really look forward to it. Thank you. Hello I'm Mark Weber, executive chef at Mason Street Grill. Our straight to the plate August feature is North Star Bison from Rice Lake, Wisconsin. So what we have here is a 16 ounce uh, cowboy steak or a bone-in ribeye. Um, as you can see, um, there's a small amount of cap fat, but most of the meat is fairly lean, and that's uh, pretty indicative of a grass-fed and grass-finished uh, bison. Uh, it's a beautiful color, uh, a little bit of pin marbling. Um, so in order to keep this uh, a little moist on the grill, we're gonna brush it with a little olive oil and we're simply going to season it with uh, salt and pepper. So we want, the, we want it to focus on the, the actual flavor of the bison and all the sweet grasses that we saw in the pastures and what they feed on, that's going to come through in the meat. So we're going to keep this presentation and dish as simple as possible. So we're going to start by just uh, taking a, a ribeye and we're just going to coat it with a little bit of olive oil. And that's just going to help make contact with the grill transfers the heat a little bit. Now we're going to season it generously with some kosher salt. And some black pepper. And then we're going to go to the grill. So this is our chuck wagon beans. Four different types of beans, lots of chilies, lots of garlic. Uh, I'll cook with a smoked uh, pork hock. Uh, really rich, or smells great. This is made from a real uh, chuck wagon recipe from 1882. This is some real trail food right here. So going with the dish, uh, you know, traditionally it could be served with biscuits or uh, things like that. I decided to do a Navajo fry bread. It's uh, a very traditional thing, probably not uh, eaten as much uh, by the cowboys on the trail, but uh, I kind of like it, and it, uh, it's great for dipping up the uh, leftover sauce from the beans and the juices from the meat. And here we have it, our straight to your plate August feature, North Star Bison.